A little trick on how to um, focus your solar scope. Uh, if you're trying to operate your camera remotely and you don't have a remote focuser, um, so rather than have to sit out next to the um, solar scope with a computer, which can kind of be blinding you know, or hover underneath some sort of cover, I'll show you a little trick on how you can focus it and then go back to your computer uh, to um, to achieve nice focus. A little device like this you can pick up on Amazon. This is an LCD viewfinder. Um, it comes with a little piece. These are actually made for DSLR uh, for you to put on the on the back of a DSLR uh, LCD screen so you can kind of zoom in on it. Um, but I'll show you something that you can kind of do uniquely with this. Um, this backing here. This is all magnetic um, so it usually just clamps right onto the back of that. But we're going to do it a little differently here. So I came up with an idea. If there was a way that I could get, um, if, I could, if I could get my cell phone to display an image, um, so broadcast an image of my broadcast, um, of my solar broadcast uh, through the internet and then pick that up on my cell phone and then put this up to the screen of my cell phone um, in order to um, achieve focus while standing out next to the um, scope uh, that's uh, that's indeed what I wanted to do and that's what I tried to do and, and actually it, it works really well so I'll give you a demonstration here I'll have to use a different camera so I can demonstrate um, my cell phone okay so on our uh, PC side this will act as the uh, server if you will for our broadcast to the internet you want to download and install a program called y'all cam and uh, see if I can get that in focus I'm working on a cell phone so forgive me for the uh, video quality um, so we'll go I've already installed it and it is a free program so we'll go ahead and double click that and we'll open it up and see if we can give you a demonstration on what you need to do on the um, PC side to get a broadcast so we have nothing selected here so this is similar to any other uh, software that um, you may work with on your camera so you want to go to your settings and you want to detect the webcam currently there's no device and in this case um, I don't have a um, webcam hooked up but I'm gonna go ahead and simulate it because I'm running I'm running currently a movie through um, my um, Manicam virtual driver so I'm gonna go ahead and choose it and then we'll hit OK and then we should see and then there's the uh, simulated solar view if you will even though it is a movie um, it will serve for, for what we need to do for the broadcast alright so here I'll pause and uh, we'll start with the next step okay, so now we're ready to uh, broadcast this to the internet we've already got our stream going of our um, image uh, that we want to capture uh, and so now we just need to um, broadcast it so we have the different uh, settings down here file FTP HTTP stream and motion we're going to choose stream because we're going to do this through a Java outlet so we're going to go ahead and enable that now so you see a little globe lit up there so just that simply now we are broadcasting on the internet but how do you get it now onto your cell phone or any other tablet or any other device well up here if you see the help menu you want to click it and it says am I online and also says what is my URL well that's what we want to do we want to go ahead and see what my URL is so let's click that now and it will open up a web page and over here under the stream side because that's what we activated is the um, address of 10.0.0.5 and then the port of 8081 so that's the information that we need to get this now set uh, on the um, cell phone side. So let's go ahead and pause it now and let's see if we can go to the cell phone side. Okay, so now we're back on the um, phone side and we need to install software that we can uh, now retrieve the broadcast that we're putting out from our laptop or our PC. So we're going to go ahead and go to the Google Play Store. I'm using an Android device. Uh, we'll open up the, the store and we'll do a search for TinyCam. In Tiny Cam, when that pulls up, you'll see that we actually have two versions. There's a free version and there's a pro version. The pro version and the free version are exactly the same. They set up exactly the same. The pro version does have a few extras, but it costs you a couple of dollars. Um, so we'll go ahead and open that up now, and we'll show you how to set up. Now, we need to set up our camera 
So when we open up um, the software, um, the control panel, we show um, quite a few selections, but we want to manage our cameras. So you'll choose that, and when that opens up, you'll see that there's a number of cameras, that, especially that come with the Pro version, that are all over the world. But um, our camera is not here, so we need to set it up by hitting the plus sign. So we'll hit the plus sign, and then we need to name our camera. So um, let me go back for a second. You'll notice that only the mandatory settings, uh, camera, vendor, model, and IP, and port number, that's really all that needs to be changed. So let's go ahead and set up our camera name. Now I usually broadcast with my DMK41, uh, so we're going to go ahead and set that up, and we'll call it DMK. And then we need to go to our ve camera vendor. Now that's going to be the software that you're broadcasting from on your PC or laptop. And in this case, it was Yawcam. So we're going to go ahead and open up that. And we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. And we'll choose Yawcam. Not Ycam, but Yawcam. So once that's chosen, then we're going to check, uh, select our camera model. And our model is going to be a stream Java Oplet. So we'll click that. And now we need to go ahead and... Um, choose our IP address. Now if you remember before, um, they gave that address to us when we went to our help menu. So we'll go ahead and put that in now and that is um, 10.0.0.5 and hit OK and then our port number is 8081 and that's usually already defaulted there. So now if you see at the top it says camera status is OK. So it looks like we're, look, we're set up good. So we'll go ahead and hit the back and if we scroll all the way to the bottom you'll see now that our camera is now visible as DMK. So we'll back out one more time and now we need to go to our live view and we should be able to see our broadcast. And there it is. I'll just, just rotate the screen here. So there's our, our, uh, our broadcast and now we can put our LCD viewfinder up to our cell phone and use it to focus um, the solar with the etalons and so forth and it works out quite well. I'll go ahead and append a small video that I have. The video the sounds a little low, uh, but I'll do it with my camera as best I can at the end of this uh, video now. All right, thank you very much. Okay, so here is our, um, our viewfinder, if you will, that's, um, uh, that we're going to use now. And we just simply just place it right over the image on the phone. Um, and now you can actually look down into your phone and you can see up close, I don't know if we can get that on here or not, and we'll give it a go, but you can see when it comes into focus. So now when you're sitting out next to your, um, in the full sun by the way, uh, you can take a look at your, um, at your image that's broadcasting and you can make fine adjustments on your solar scope, not only with focus, but with your etalons uh, and different items like that to um, to achieve um, the maximum uh, focus and uh, as well as uh, clarity uh, on your um, uh, on your broadcast without having to travel back and forth if you don't have a remote focuser. So that's it. I hope it helped. Um, and uh, thank you very much. And uh, I would appreciate it if you would uh, subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day.